It stopped my life, dead in its tracks. And it stopped me for a very long time. This is the life of a stalking victim. I describe it as feeling like you're being held underwater and you're screaming and no one can hear you. These are just two stories, two of seven million reported victims last year. He was standing between the two windows and looking in this way. I was just getting the most horrific rape and death threats. In both of these instances, the stalkers were strangers with an obsession. I would listen to make sure that they weren't in the hallway. I had to track his IP every day because he bounced around the country, so I needed to know exactly where he was so I can assess my level of threat. For Lenora Claire, a chance encounter at her art gallery led to a barrage of threatening letters and emails. She never knew when her stalker would turn up. James is a professional photographer who says the provocative nature of his subjects might have sparked the fixation of his stalker, a neighbor on the floor below. Both victims say they felt helpless even when they went to the police. That, however, is now changing. Rather than a bunch of reports sitting in a filing cabinet somewhere, now they're being grouped together and a charge is born. This is part of a new initiative intended to help stalking victims. It's called CAPS, a coordinated approach to prevent stalking. When it becomes a repeated course of conduct, the crime is established. And according to Tuesday Muller Mondi of the Staten Island District Attorney's Office, it's working. What we saw within the first year of training on this program was a 200% jump in the amount of stalking cases that came through as arrest. Muller Mondi says if you are a victim, you can protect yourself by minimizing your use of social media and changing account passwords. She says it's also important to keep a diary. Take note for yourself of times and dates when this has occurred. A pattern, a continuity of purpose is what the law says must exist for a stalking charge to uh, be appropriate. I wish I could have fought back. I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, I'm not the same person that I was prior to this happening. I never feel safe. Staten Island DA's office is working with the NYPD and Safe Horizon on the CAPS program. Neither James nor Lenora's stalkers are currently in custody. Both say there have been no recent incidents.